What is going on guys and gals, this is your boy Tom, welcome back to Pokemon Showdown. Today's video is going to be a team analysis video for, uh, uh, I would like to call him a friend. I don't know if he sees me that way though, but screw it, I'm going to call him my friend. If you don't like it, just tell me and I'll stop calling you my friend, okay? <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm like kind of talking low, it's uh, currently 8 a.m., I'm usually not even up until 10, 11, 12. I'm not a morning person at all, but I decided to get up early and record this, so uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. As you can see up on your screen, we do have a Kalista on this team. Uh, I'm sorry if you don't really like this team, I just really want to see like a good combination between a rain team and a uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? A trick room team, and that's why this cluster is run slow instead of the normal choice scarf set, and that's because uh, well, I just want to hit hard with this thing and be able to you know be faster in the trick room. So we have the. Uh, we have the Icicle Spear, the Rock Blast, the Poison Jab, and the Razor Shell. Now, fun fact, Max Attack Adamant Nature with the Life Orb is almost a guaranteed Oko on, uh, what's his name, Talent Flame, if you use Ic Icicle Spear. If, uh, if we had rocks, then it would be an automatic Oko, but I did not put rocks on this team, nor did I put a way to take care of like get rid of hazards which it may come as a bit of a problem but uh this is just for fun right so uh it shouldn't be too big of an issue if it's just all for fun but uh that's the cloister set that I was uh working on and uh next up on the list we have the good or not I don't want to call them good but we have the Assault Vest Caldeo, and your EVs are almost up. Why? Supposed to be 120. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. I don't know why Showdown keeps messing up my uh, EVs, but it's whatever. But here we have the Assault Vest Caldeo with uh, Skull, Secret Sword, Icy Wind, and Hidden Power Fire just for the Sizzlers. Now, being modest and having this much attack power ensures that Hidden Power Fire will Oko a, uh, a Mega Sizzler. And having this uh, defense, this defensive uh, like core or whatever, it ensures that we can take a plus two superpower. So uh, I'm not too worried about a scissor. Uh, next up on the list is uh, a personal favorite because it is a trick room user, Mega Slowbro with a uh, regenerator, double psychic stab. Just because if I want to hit on the physical side, I can. And then we have the uh, water stab with Scald. We don't have too much in the way of uh, taking care of Venusaur, but uh, Slowbro. Um, what do you call it? Um, the Psychic on Slowbro, the Psychic on another Mon, and then the, uh, the Air, Aerial Ace? Yeah, Aerial Ace on a different Mon. But, uh, yeah, Mega v Venusaur r really just does not over to this team. I'm sorry I couldn't, there's no possible way to, uh, make a team to where you can counter everything. It's just not possible. You can try as much as you want, it's just not gonna happen. There's always going to be one team out there that will take on your team regardless of what you do. But um yeah that's the uh slow bro I'm running. Max special defense just because it gets a major, and I mean major increase in the uh, defensive stack, bumping it up to 180. That's insane. But um, I want to see something actually. 
369, 396, I'm sorry. And 24, okay. I thought it might have been the same, but no. His defense is way higher than his special defense, even with this uh, core or setup, whatever. And next up on the list is the um, Thunderous holding the expert belt with Thunder, Flash Cannon, Hidden Power Ice, and Psychic. This is another mod that can take on a Venusaur relatively okay. This is actually uh, the only thing on the team that can take on a Venusaur. This is actually the only thing on the team that can take on the, um, whatchamacallit, the DNC. I mean, I know I have a bunch of water type moves for uh, DNC. And I know I have Trick Room, but uh, this is my counter. Even though I'm weak to him, and he can majorly outspeed me. Um, I think it'll be okay. I think it's okay. I like this setup, max attack. Just because I get the most damage off on something. And there ain't much to say about this, except for this is my, uh, Volt Observer. So that means I can take electrical hits. And Hidden Power Ice is there for the Landorus and the Garchomp. That won't switch in predicting my electric type to, uh, hits. See, I, I kind of thought this through. I kind of thought this through. <laughs> but next up on the list, we have the um, Focus Sash Adaptability Crawdon with uh, SZ, Aqua Jet, Knock Off, and Aerial Ace. Now, I'm going uh, to be up front. Aerial Ace is just here to get that little smidgen of damage off on Venusaur. And actually, I want to change Swords Dance to Dragon Dance because I don't want to rely on the uh, Trick Room for my entire team. Especially knowing that only one of my mods carry Trick Room. So, I'm going to put on Dragon Dance and uh, actually bump this speed up. Yeah, that's fine. 209, yeah, that's fine. Um... I guess we can pump the rest into whatever. It don't really matter. But, uh, yeah. That's the crud on a set. I really wasn't using Swords Dance a whole lot. Just because I couldn't get it off. Like, freely. But, uh, knowing that I'll be faster than them. On the, uh, opposing turn. Knowing that I can hit him off. Hit him with a knockoff. Just makes everything better. Me and Focus Sash means I can take any hit. Just as long as hazards aren't up, so. Make sure you remember that. And then, last but not least, we need a rain setter upper, don't we? So we have a uh, Polytoad with Drizzle and Damp Rock, as well as uh, Toxic Protect, Rest, and Skull. Just to be an annoying, a very annoying little toad. But yeah, that's the, the uh, whole team. We have five water types. Which yeah, I know it's crazy, but this is a rain team. I know nobody gets, you know, Swift Swim. Or um, any of that. Like Hydration. I know I didn't put any of that on the team, but I think this team's pretty solid. I really do think this team is solid. Oh my gosh, you're going to hit like a Banshee. But anyways guys, that's the team. And um, I'm actually going to try to find a match. It's, it is it is 8am. 8.17. Yes, I named it Rain, Rain, Rain. Let's see if I can find a match. And we found a match right away. I'm sorry it's lagging a little bit. I'm uh, resizing my... Uh, this <laughs> I'm resizing showdown and uh give me just one second here I know this is weird let's all get out but oh I'm going the wrong way with that oh no yes I'm 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 a professional here I know what I'm doing 
Don't worry about me. Just worry about yourself, okay? Da, da, da. That's not good. Can't see his wands. Um, I guess that'll do for now. I want it to resize it for the battle. Even though you won't be, uh, exactly know what I'm going for. Because it's all beneath this. Well, beneath this. <laughs> but, uh, who do you think he's going to start off with? I'm kind of feeling I wrote him. Just because he can get the vault switch off on most of my team. It's either that or Jirachi. But then again, he doesn't really want to take a gosh darn skull to the face and get burned. Oh, I so want to lead off. You know what? I'm leading off a Crawdon. You can do what you want. I don't care. Oh, I should have traded Aqua Jet in for a waterfall. But it's whatever. I don't think he's going to stay in. I am water type. Oh, he does. He stays in goes for Stealth Rock. So this is Stealth Rock can set. Okay. Uh, let me just go for a knockoff. Because I didn't think he was going to stay in. And he misses his Toxic. That is glorious. Now let me go for an Aqua Jet. Just knocking this thing out. It doesn't matter anymore. Because I'm just going for a knockoff. Yes, knockoff should have been able to knock him out. Just because of my adaptability. And I still have my focus sash. So, this is good. This is good. If he sends in uh, Kira Black, I'm just going to knock it off. If he sends in Jirachi, that's bad. I don't know why you would send Jirachi here. If he sends in uh, Rotom, I can just knock that thing off. If he sends in Breloom, I'm kind of screwed, but kind of not. Because I do pack the aerial ace but he does pack the mock punch so uh th down goes his brilliant that's two for one so far it's two for one it's not bad it's not bad at all let's see what it does goes into rotom a wash i just want to knock this thing's leftovers off and it just completely demolishes them oh my goodness I'm sorry there's not much enthusiasm in my voice or whatever, but, oh my goodness, he has scarfed Kieran Black, that's good to know. That means I can go right out into Thunderous and, uh, hit up something. I want to hit up a Flash Cannon, but I know he's going to switch. Oh, I know he's going to switch. Let me hit up a Thunder. I know you're scarfed. You outsped my plus one Crawdon. He's either going to heal me or he's going to switch out to uh, Jirachi. Thankfully, I land the. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yo, caught a prediction. No, I'm just kidding. You can't, you can't say stuff like that. <laughs> um, I really do want to get my uh, rain up. Oh, I, 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 I have to. I gotta get my rain up. After that, I can go for Trick Room and proceed to blow back with Cloyster, but I need this rain up. Or, I don't need it, but I want it up. And he gets paralyzed. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's hit him up with a Scald. A Scald. He's gonna Thunder Wave me. That's cute really cute go ahead try to paraflange me see if you can get through paralysis yourself you know Alteria gets heal bell just saying uh, I've already clicked my move waiting on him and he gets paralyzed while I break through that is very unfortunate for him um, I'm just going for a toxic because I don't want this thing setting up on me, and I miss. <laughs> That's glorious. 
So, um, he's special, so I might as well just go for another toxic. He could be mixed as well, but, uh, he didn't go for the dragon dance. Yeah, yeah, he didn't go for the dragon dance. Oh, that's not good. That means I just lose Politoed right here. But that's fine. I can go into Slowbro and hit up a Trick Room. After that, I can sack off Keldeo. Yeah, yeah. After that, I can sack off Keldeo. Let's see, what he, let's, see, let's see what he goes for. I'm expecting Moonblast or uh, something along that line. And he just straight up, straight up, yeah. He just straight up demolished my Slowbro. Oh my goodness, I took that, really. Um, Let's get a burn. He's slow. Are you slower than Cloyster? That'd be weird. Because this is very, very slow Cloyster. Yeah. It's a life orb too, so... Uh, yeah. Prepare for fun. And what I have to do... Is stay in and see what he goes for. He can't go for a, a fusion bolt. If he does, it's over. Okay, 14. Alright, crit with a 20. That's not bad. Yeah, he can't go for a... Ooh, I can live another one. Please don't get to 30%. Please don't get to 30%. He got the 30%. Well, my game plan now is to uh, sack off Cloyster. Um, go into a slow bro. And then switch out to Thunderous. Getting that nice regen going. And, um, I can hit up a flash cannon now if I don't, you know, get flinched. I just wanted the, uh, for sure heal on, uh, what's his face. Just be, just in case I couldn't break through that. Telling GG. And, yeah, that really was a good game. He, uh, really didn't know how to handle Crawdon. Crowdon was such a beast in this match. Just straight up Oko, like, three of his mons. Or, it didn't Oko, uh, Heat Ram, but it did, it, two, uh, shot him. But, uh, yeah. That's how this team is playing. <laughs> you gotta use everything to your advantage. Because you literally don't have much to your, at, or at your disposal. Just a bunch of water types. And one electric type. One electric mu immunity. Uh, should I get another one? I don't know. I don't know how long this video is running. It's around 10 minutes. I, I think I should stop there. It is supposed to be a uh, team analysis, not a, uh, a live with this. I may end up doing a live with this team just because I love this uh, rain uh, trick room team so much. I'm hoping to... Uh, actually get on a video with uh the person i'm making this team for and uh you know hit him up on skype or something do a, a live with him and i'll have to be on my phone now because uh it really will it, it really isn't working for this computer and it's pretty sad because I, it'd be so much easier just to do it on the computer because all i'd have to do is get this headset on and just you know up the volume of uh other programs being run on uh, my computer like Skype and uh, the Firefox thing but that's beside the point uh, hopefully hopefully he likes this team please leave a comment down below and tell me if you like this team because uh, I spent a while on this team just thinking about it it didn't take me long at all to actually put it together. It just took me long to uh, think about what I, what concept I wanted to go for. And uh, yeah, this is the team. It's a uh, 
rain trick room team with a slow closer and a fast crowd on. <laughs> it's really weird but as you can see it worked and uh, yeah until next time guys well hold up let me do the real outro <laughs> until next time yeah I kinda skipped over because I I skipped over stuff because I'm tired don't judge me okay I'm very professional <laughs> Thank you guys and gals so much for watching this video. Remember to leave a like if you liked it. You can comment down below and subscriptions are always free. And until next time guys. Peace out. <laughs> oh, I can't even f do the finger snap right. That's how freaking out of it I am. Oh my goodness. I really would like to uh, get on a video with you though. Like, let me know. Hit me up on the uh, this video, and uh, let me know if you would want to do uh, a dual commentary sometime.